Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this marker system. So you can spawn a marker to your level and it will show how far away you are from that. So I can spawn it there if I want, and you can see when we are getting closer, the distance gets smaller, like it should. Yeah, and you can obviously spawn this however you want. I'm just spawning this by pressing V on the keyboard. But yeah, let's get started. First, you want to go to the third person folder and do the blueprints. And then you want to go to the link in the description and you want to download this marker image. After that, you want to import it to your project like this. Now we want to create an user interface widget blueprint user widget. Let's call this marker widget. Okay, let's open it. Let's move it next to the level like this. Now here, what we want to do is we want to search for a canvas panel and move it to here. Now let's change this fill screen to custom. Let's change the width to 100 and height to 150 like this. Let's zoom. Now let's get an image. Let's move it here. Let's set the image image size X to 100 and Y to 100 also. Now let's anchor it to the uh, bottom middle part. And let's reset this position X and Y and set the alignment X to 0.5 so it's in the middle and 1 on the Y so it's basically here. Now let's open the brush. Let's search for our marker that we just added. You see, now we have it here and its pivot point is here. So the next thing what we want to do, we want to search for a text and we want to move the text to here. And after that, we want to anchor the text also to the bottom uh, middle part and reset the position X, Y, and set the size to 100 and like, yeah, I can be 40. Now, 0.5 on the X, so it's in the middle. And on the Y, I would like to set it to like 3.5, so it's there. Now, I want to change the font to a little bit smaller, so 20. And justification, align text center, like this. Now, let's change this text to something like 100M, so meters. Let's see, it looks like that. Okay. Uh, that's good, actually. Now what we want to do, we want to bind this text to... Let's create a binding like this. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to create a variable and let's call this player ref. Let's change the variable type to our player uh, class reference or like object reference. So third person character or whatever your character is called and object reference so the blue uh, blue one like this okay now the next thing what we want to do is we want to go back to the third person map and we want to create an actor so blueprint class and actor let's call this marker actor or something like that let's open it here on the marker actor, we want to add a widget component. So, widget from here. Okay, now let's select our widget class, which should be the marker widget. And. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, where is it? Okay, so I don't know why we can't see it right now, but it doesn't matter. Let's just leave it to zero on all things. And we want to change this space to screen like that. Okay, now we actually don't have to do anything else here. So let's compile, save and close this marker actor. Here on the marker widget, let's create yet another variable. Let's call this marker ref. And let's change the variable type to marker actor object reference like that. Now 
let's call it the event graph. Uh, let's delete everything else than the event construct. And on the event uh, construct, what we want to do is the following. We want to first get all actors of class. And the class will be the uh, marker, marker, let's search for it. So marker actor, like this. Out actors, let's get a copy, like this. And index zero, because we'll always only have one of these on the screen at the time. After that, we want to get our marker ref and we want to set it like this, connect this here, okay? And after that, we want to get player character and we want to cast to third person character like this. After that, we want to set the player ref like this, okay? Now that we have the reference set, we want to compile and go to the get text. Here on the get text, let's move the return node a lot further, like this. Let's first get our player ref get. Right click and convert to validate get, so we can check if it's valid. If it is valid, then what we want to do, we want to get the mark ref get and convert to validate get, like this. If it's valid, player ref, let's connect here. And if it's valid, let's connect to here. Now, what we want to do, we want to first get uh, from the marker, let's get actor uh, location like this. Now from the player ref, get actor location like this. Now we want to do, we want to get the distance vector between these two. Okay. And now, if we want to change it to meters, we want to divide this by 100. Because the Unreal Basic use centimeters for its units. So let's divide this by 100, like this. And after that, we want to round it to the nearest number. So let's search for a round. Now it will change it to an integer. And uh, what we want to do next, we want to get from this written value and we want to format text because now we can add a pin here and we want to add these brackets and call it distance and another bracket and after that M or capital M, I don't know, let's put normal like that. Now when you do this bracket thing, you will get this new pin here. Now you can connect around to here. So now it will put the number and after that this M here. Okay, let's compile, let's save. We can actually close this. Now we have to spawn the actor to the level. So let's open the BB third person character. Now let's just add a key here or you can go to the uh, project settings. What happened? Where are the project settings? Oh. Sorry, we will have to move this to here. So now we can see the project settings. Here under the input, we have these action mappings. Let's actually do it this way. So let's add action mapping. Let's call this uh, set marker or something like that. Let's bind it to we or something. You can put it to whatever you want or to wherever you want. Now we can close this. Now on the third person character, when we right click and search for a set marker, we have this action events here. And now from the pressed, what we want to do, we actually want to create a variable first. Let's call this marker ref and let's change the variable type to marker uh, actor object reference like this. Now we want to get this from the pressed Actually, we will have to turn it to validate get. So we will check if we already have the marker. So if we have a spawned already one. If we have, then we get from the marker ref and we destroy actor. So we want to destroy the one before. And after that, what we want to do, we want to spawn actor from class. The class will be 
uh, marker actor class, this one. Now we want to uh, split this truck, uh, spawn uh, transform uh, pin. Uh, what we want to do now, we want to create a new function. Let's call this get look at uh, location, something like that. Let's open it. And here on get look at location, what we want to do, we want to get, for example, our follow camera. And we want to get world location like this. Then we want to also get from the follow camera and get forward vector like this. And after that, we want to, oh, my phone is ringing. Okay, so uh, we want to get from the get world location and we want to add to it, so like this. Now we want to get the forward vector. We will have to multiply it. And let's connect it to this plus like this. Let's actually align this. So select and control, uh, sorry, Q, so select and Q. Now we have to turn this pin to float single precision like this. Now we will have to set the amount that we want to multiply it. So basically how uh, long, uh, how far we can set the marker. So let's set this to something big like 100,000, something like that. And after that, we want to right click and search for a line trace by channel, uh, line trace by channel like this. Okay, let's get from here and connect to here. Now we have to get from the get world location and connect it to the start. So we will start from our follow cameras location. Let's add a reroute to here so it looks a little bit better. At the end point, we want to set this world location uh, where we have added 100,000 units on our forward vector. So 100,000 units uh, in front of us, our, uh, our camera basically. So let's connect it to the end. Now, here on the... Actually, we don't have to do anything here, sorry about that. Let's split this out hit so we can get our out hit uh, uh, impact point, this one. Now, let's right click and search for a return node. Let's add it here, let's connect it, and let's get our out hit impact point, and let's move it to here, add pin to node, and it can be like that, or we can call this location. Now we have to make this pure like this, compile, save, we can close this function. Now here, spawn actor marker, a spawn actor marker actor like this. We have to get uh, get look at loca location. If you uh, see this as blue function, you didn't make it as pure. Now we can just connect it here. We don't have to do anything for this. Collision handling override, we have we'll have to set it to all uh, always spawn in your collisions because it's a widget basically or yeah like that so it can be spawned uh, every time after that from the written value we want to set the marker ref so we will set it so the next time when we press this it will see that we have set it and it will destroy the one before and spawn the other one now from here first time if we uh, the marker ref is not set, then we want to just get from this. Actually, let's add a reroute here and connect it to that. Let's add two reroutes here. So, only thing that it will do on it's not valid is it will skip the destroy actor because there are no actor to destroy like that. Now, compile, save, and let's try. Let's play a new editor window. And let's press V. Okay, it is not working correctly. Why is that? So, I actually think we have to go to the marker actor and to the widget. And here on the draw size, let's set these to something smaller. So, 100 and 100. Let's try that. Compile, save, and let's go to the map and play. So, now when we press V, we have this marker here on the level okay and the meters are working we can set it there yeah it's also working and it will always destroy the marker that we had before 
So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you liked what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.